Right, it's about six o'clock in the morning and I'm at Spencer's, my brother's house, and we are about to embark on a trip today, which is literally the stuff that dreams are made of. The car awaits. Airport. And I always like to say that when I leave a country, I want to leave to go to better weather. I don't think that's going to be a problem because it's quite literally snowing. Who's the mystery man? <laughs> so we've just landed in Madrid and Spencer actually, can you sum up your levels of excitement for what I described earlier as literally a dream day? Um, I'd say that if it was on a scale of 1 to 12, it would probably be somewhere near 14,006. It's pretty high. So, so off, the set, off the scale, oh, in yeah, many literally, ways. literally, yeah. Right, guys, so welcome to Madrid. You've probably figured it out by now. If you haven't, then the title would have definitely told you. It's El Clasico, baby. Me and Spencer are experiencing this wonderful day together, and I can't bloody wait. The sun's come out, which is good because it's quite cold before. Put your shades. I didn't, I didn't think I needed them, mate. It was snowing when we left. Sorry for Saunders because he's supposed to be vlogging, but he's having to work. So I'll vlog Saunders for him. That's Saunders, and he's just using a camera at the moment, as he likes to do. And that's some Real Madrid things and some Barcelona things. And that's a station, and that's the update for Saunders' vlog. There's Saunders again. In case you're wondering if he's okay, he's healthy. He's fine. Right guys, I've taken a little bit of break from filming Spencer for the football public. We're here at the Bernabeu, it's El Clasico time, we're going to be in there in a matter of moments. I don't think I've been as pumped for a football game that isn't West Ham like this since England-Portugal in the German World Cup. I am absolutely, I absolutely can't wait. One more small thing, so we're not just watching El Clasico, we're watching El Clasico VIP, which is why we're walking in a very sort of white looking area. Very posh. Got Spencer in front of me up the stairs. This is a complimentary blanket in case you get cold. Now, is that the biggest prawn sandwich brigade thing you've ever heard of? I had to get one purely for the novelty. Real Madrid, area VIP. Wow. feeling I got the first time I walked into the new Wembley Stadium when you just get that sense of how big something is. I mean, just look at it. Barcelona. Remember to didn't return up, but what an incredible experience. Did you enjoy your time at the Bernabeu? Very much so. Will Very you be giving it a trip advisor review? Um, yeah, I mean everything was good. The facilities were good, we got given a blanket. Um, the, the football was great, but that wasn't actually provided from the home team, was it? That was the away no, team that brought that along yeah. with them. But yeah, no, it's decent. It actually looks just as impressive empty as it does full. It's amazing. I second that. So that about does it for today's antics. All the filming's wrapped up. The game's obviously wrapped up. So now it's just time to get some food and chill out really because tomorrow is an even hectic, more hectic of a day because I'm getting up bright and early, getting a plane to Israel. Yes, I'm getting a plane to Tel Aviv to meet up with Rory from the Chelsea Fans Channel because I'm going to do some filming for them ahead of the Maccabee Tel Aviv and Chelsea Champions League game. So, there's a lot of air miles and a lot of travel in a short space of time, but as you know if you watch my channel, travel is what I'm all about, so I can't bloody wait. See you in the morning.
Right, so we're here in St Marlowe. This is our last little stop before we get the boat back to England tomorrow.